Hey all, it's Josh with Battlebond here. So I'm just coming at you guys today with uh, some kind of hobby time stuff. I just thought I would make a video and uh, maybe we'll make this a more regular thing just to kind of keep me on track and uh, just to let you guys know what we're working on over here. So uh, this is the latest project. It is some black orcs and a rock lava from Highlands Miniatures. So I just finished these guys. They were mostly done with uh, contrast paints and uh, I got a new airbrush so I used that to do the armor plating on them as you guys can see here to uh, kind of get the, the black effect. I basically spray painted a, a really bright silver and then made like a really thin black wash to spray over top of that so that it would come through as just black tinted metal. Um, the, re the rest of it was all, all for all of these guys was done with uh, Army Painter Speed Paints. Um, and yeah, I think they turned out pretty good. It didn't take me too long. And I've been a really big fan of the Army Painter Speed Paints as of late, just because um, I'm a new dad. So my hobby time is quite limited. And it's nice that they are cheap and they can let me do things like um, finish up a unit of 20 black orcs in uh, a reasonable amount of time with the, the limited amount of time I have. So yeah, and then same, same thing with the rock lava. So you guys can see this, this again was all army painter speed paint and then I'm going pretty simple as far as the base goes just because you know it's a, a ton of models and it's a ton of models that will be dying all at once so you know as long as there's something on the base I'm pretty okay with that and uh, like a competition painter or anything like that by any means so just being able to get these done and uh, have painted models for you guys for battle reports uh, is kind of what's most important to me. So we'll zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, so here's what the, the unit looks like fully painted and a, a little bit of a close up. And then, um, oh, the, the technique that I use for the armor is basically the same thing I used for this banner, um, except for it was just with Army Painter Speed Paints. So it was just a really bright metallic and then a really thin red speed paint over top of it. And I think it looks pretty cool. So y you could definitely do the, the black armor and stuff without an airbrush. The only reason I did it with the airbrush is just because it saved me a ton of time. I was able to do all their armor in like an hour total. So that was really helpful. So there's that, and then yeah, the rock lava. So we're getting really close to having a uh, full 12, 1250 points of orcs and goblins ready to go on the table. So I'm really excited about that to bring that up against Dan. So here's what I'm hoping to get done for the end of this month. So we've got our 10 boar boys and our character. Again, they're all by Highlands Miniatures. And as you guys can see, I have them base coated and they're ready to go. So I'm gonna be speed painting them and hopefully have these guys done in the next week or so. That'd be awesome. Um, so the, the boar boys plus the uh, black orc character, who I, I still don't have a name for, by the way. So if you guys have any ideas, I'd be really appreciative of that, um, will bring me to 1250. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have all that painted and ready for some more battle reports. And then um, we are going to be doing something special in some upcoming battle reports. So um, I have a couple of minis here from Edge Miniatures and we sell these in our shop. So, if you like the, the look of this guy and the next one, um, check out our shop at etsy.com slash shop slash Battlebond Miniatures. There will be a link in the description. So we're looking to try out a, a new game system for us. 
and we're hoping that it's well it, it seems like it'll be really fun and we'll be adding some more regular content for it on the channel so stay tuned for that um but as you guys can see this is just the the straight up prints these guys haven't been undercoated or anything yet but that thankfully doesn't take very much time so yeah i'm hoping to get this stuff done by the end of the month here and we're hoping to get all these models on camera painted battle reports and then as far as after this goes i've got something big planned for the middle earth strategy battle game and there's uh, a tournament coming up in calgary in april so i'm hoping to get it done for that and then for the batman side of things um, I have the entire Cobra crew that I've been wanting to get out on the table more and stuff. And I finally just got around to getting them all glued onto their bases and stuff. So I'm hoping that a quick round of speed paints on those guys will get, get them out on the table. That's what is going to be worked on for the next month or so. And I'll, like I said, I'll try to do some more videos, show some progress and it'll help keep me accountable and hopefully you guys will like to see how these things turn out. So make sure if you like the video, give it a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more 